Okay, everyone, I'm gonna show you how to create a signature stamp that you can place on your photos. All you have to do is just grab a piece of paper, grab a pen or pencil, use a pen preferably, and just start signing your name. Sign your name like three or four times. Okay, after you are through signing your name on the sheet of paper, get that sheet of paper and stick it in the scanner bed, load up the scanner software, and scan it. Okay, and as soon as you see that on the screen, Use the little selection tool that comes with your scanning software and just select the area that you wish to scan. You can see I'm just going to select my signatures right here. There we go. Okay. Now, there's one very important thing. Most scanning software will automatically determine that this is a uh, black and white bitmap, which we don't want it to be a black and white bitmap. So make sure before you actually do the final scan, make sure it's set on grayscale. Okay, grayscale or true color. I'm gonna select grayscale. You could do 300 dots per inch if you'd like. I don't think it's necessarily, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just enter in 200, okay? When you're all done there, go ahead and save it to your hard drive, do the final scan, and save the scan to your hard drive and load it up in Photoshop. And let's go ahead and, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, after you've created your signature, go ahead and open it up in Photoshop, and here's mine. I've named it Mark Sig, and here's the three signatures that I did. And you can actually sign your name like 20 times on a sheet of paper. It doesn't matter. And you can load that scan up in Photoshop, open it up, and actually crop down the one that you like the most. So actually, I like the middle one here better, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use the crop tool in the toolbar right here and just draw a selection with the crop tool around this signature. And I'll just go ahead and move the selection here. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and double click inside of that just to crop all the outside stuff around it that I don't want. So, and a lot of times, I don't know, if we don't have like lines to work with on sheets of paper and stuff, or if, you're, if your signature just kind of goes up or down at, at a slant and you, your signature is not necessarily straight, like I'm, mine's always going up at a slant. I don't know what it is. I have like the slant disease or something. So there's a way to straighten this out and just come right over here to the toolbar and select the measure tool. If you don't see the measure tool, the eyedropper tool may be selected. It might look like that. So just click on the eyedropper tool and come down and select the measure tool right here. And actually just draw the measure tool. Just click and drag it out here and just rest that measure tool right on the bottom of the signature there. And just, you know, on the, on the angle, uh, that the signature is currently going and just tell Photoshop that you know we want to straighten this out according to the angle uh, that it's currently going right now and an easy way to straighten this out it's so easy just come right up here to image down here to rotate canvas and select arbitrary and Photoshop will automatically calculate uh, the angle needed to, to straighten out the signature go ahead and click OK and there you go so now all I have to do now is uh, say I'm actually going to go up here to select. Let's just select the entire image here, okay? And then come up here to edit, come over here to copy. And then we need to go over to the channels palette, okay, to work our magic. Now, if you don't see the channels palette, come up here to window and make sure channels is checked. And when it is, you should see the channels palette pop up here. Make a new channel, okay? Come down to the bottom of the channels palette and click on this button right here. It's a new channel button. There we go. Come right up here to edit. Now you're going to paste that signature right in that channel, just like that. After that, come right up here to Image, Adjustments, and invert that channel. So now the text should be white, just like that, okay? Now don't worry, the text is not necessarily going to be white on the final output. This is just what we need uh, to work in channels. So after you've done this, uh, you can go up here to Select and just deselect the selection, okay? Next, come up here to Image, come down over here to Adjustments and select Levels. What we're going to do is actually enhance the signature just a little bit, okay? Just go ahead and enhance it a little bit. Uh, you can see those very fine lines that we have right now. We'll go ahead and just enhance that. Uh, move this white slider just to the left a little bit. You can see it just get a little bit brighter, okay? So it's not so transparent. Uh, and move this black slider to the right because if we don't, sometimes you're able to see the background. Uh, it'll actually bring back the, uh, the the actual paper, and we don't want that. We just want the signature itself. So make sure you bring this black slider, move that over a little bit just for safety. And that looks pretty good right there. And you can play with this gray slider here, which is the mid-tone. And you can go ahead and play with that until you like it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so we're pretty much done. We've gotten pretty far already. Um, all we have to do basically is just switch back to layers, okay? 
And what we're gonna do is just make a new layer on the layers palette, come right down here, make a new layer. Boom, just like that. And make that background layer invisible because we don't wanna see that background layer. Or better yet, what you can do is make the background layer active, come up here to select and select all, come over here to edit and actually fill that background. Just fill it in. Okay, so fill it in with let's say white, black. Um, let's actually go with black, okay? And then click okay, just like that. And then now click on that new layer that you created. So we have a background layer now that's, that's filled with black and then we have a new layer above that. Okay, so all we have to do is actually load the channel that contains the signature and I'll show you how to do that. There's a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna go up here to select and come down here to load selection, okay? And right here where it says channel, click on that. And right here at the bottom, alpha one. Okay, that is the new channel you created. It's always called alpha one. If you make two new channels, it's gonna be alpha one, alpha two. But this is alpha one, select alpha one, click okay, your signature is loaded. Like that, I like it. Well, come right up here to edit and down here to fill because we must fill the selection in with any color that you want. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use white, okay? Because we are no good just with a selection or a selected signature. It's not gonna do us any good. We must fill that signature in. So just come over here and select white, just like that and click okay. Come up here to select, deselect, you're done. Your signature is on its own layer, it's white. I can make the background layer invisible. Of course, you cannot see the signature, you can barely see it but it's on its own layer and it's transparent, okay? So all we have to do now and all you have to do is open up a photo in Photoshop, anything. I'm gonna open up this cool photo right here. Obviously, no, I did not take this picture. I wish I did, I wish I was that good. I did touch this picture up, but I not, did not take that photo. But um, anyways, to get your signature onto the photo, to signature stamp it, all you have to do is just click over on the image that contains the signature, Use the move tool on the toolbar and just drag that right over and release the mouse. And there you go. Now, obviously, it's huge because we, we, we scanned it at a high resolution, okay, uh, like 200 DPI. So all we have to do now is just come up here to edit, go down here to free transform and resize it, okay? Now, if you're having trouble seeing the little handles on the selection there, you can go ahead and you know enlarge the image. Whoops. You go ahead and just widen the image a little bit so you can see the handles or just come up here to view and go to fit on screen so you can see the entire selected signature. Hold down the shift key on the keyboard. You must hold down the shift key so the signature maintains its aspect ratio. You don't want to distort it. You just want to resize it. So hold down the shift key. Come up here to the top left. Just drag down to resize. Now you can position that signature anywhere you like, anywhere. You put it right there, I like it right there. I'm gonna double click inside of that selected area and there you go, I'm done. I'm gonna come up here to view and go actual pixels. And I'll just go ahead and make this, pull this down a little bit so you can see my signature. And there it is. And that is how you do signature stamps in Photoshop, okay? I can go ahead and zoom into it here. You wanna see it a little closer. Now, of course, this is a very low resolution photo, but when you're working with high resolution photos, Okay, well, the signature is gonna be a lot more visible, a lot more cleaner, but you can see this is my signature right here. Check it out. So there's so many things you can do, but this is how it looks. That looks pretty snazzy, pretty styling. Wow, I'm good, man, I'm good. All right, we'll see you later.